Tonight, we're learning more about the death of a man who was considered extremely instrumental in the town of Leland's early growth and development. Many are speaking about Ezra Dale and the legacy he leaves behind. WAY's Emily Andrews reports. A man many consider a driving force behind the town of Leland's growth has died. Ezra Dale called Leland his home since 1951. He is credited with much of the growth the town of Leland has seen, and many in the community are saddened to have lost such a vital piece of that growth. Ezra was a businessman, but Ezra, also, Ezra was also a giving soul. He, he cared about people. It wasn't just about the business. He cared about people, too. That was Tad Lee Thomas, owner of Tad's Barbershop. He says Dale wanted to see the people and businesses of Leland succeed. And that's the way Ezra was. He was always big with the community and wanted to see it be successful. Leland's mayor, Brenda Bozeman, shared a statement on his death saying in part, quote, his pioneering efforts to develop a small sewer plant sparked growth in the Gateway District and led to the creation of our first major subdivision, Magnolia Greens. End quote. She adds the town of Leland is undergoing adding a historical marker in his honor on Village Road. Owner of Shirley's Diner, Barry Jethwa, says he will miss seeing Dale and serving him his favorite dish, black eyed peas. He says Dale was more than his landlord. He was a customer, a friend, and a great person. That's what we called him, Mr. Dale, the deal maker. So I hope he's made a good deal with men upstairs as well. I think we're going to miss him, but God has gained somebody good up there. Jethwa adds that the town of Leland will mourn his loss, but the work that he has put in during his time here will last forever. In Brunswick County, Emily Andrews, WWAY News. Details about a funeral or memorial service for Dale are not complete at this time. We'll be sure to pass it along, pass along that information as soon as we learn more.